Hey you guys, Wes here at Busy Getting Disney. I just arrived at Animal Kingdom on this hot but very beautiful Thursday afternoon. I have a goal today because I want to capture something that I really didn't get to do on my last visit to Animal Kingdom, and that is to get, hopefully, the best video possible of the safari. Last time I was here, I was with uh, friends of mine. Today I'm here by myself, and due to social distancing, if you are here on your own and not in a group, the cast members will put you in a row to yourself on the safari vehicle. So having a row to myself, I should be able to get the animals from both sides of the car and not just from one angle. I'll be able to slide from one side to the other. Hopefully this will work out in my favor and uh, the animals will be out in full swing today. We will see. The park is only open until five o'clock and it's about two o'clock now. So I don't have a lot of time here, but let's do the safari, see what else is going on in there and take advantage of Having the reservation at Animal Kingdom, it's a beautiful day. Hot, but beautiful. Let's head on into the park and have a great afternoon. Thanks for coming with me, you guys. Heading in, and it is hot. I know I'm saying this on almost every vlog, but yes, it is hot. <laughs> but it is a really nice day. We've got a good breeze today, and it's not too humid. So regardless of the temperature, I think conditions are right. For a very nice afternoon, even if it's only a few hours here at Animal Kingdom. Happy to be here. Always happy to be on Disney property. And I haven't been to Animal Kingdom in a few weeks now, I think. We're going to have a great day. Hello, Animal Kingdom. How you doing? Good, good. Cool. Thank That's you. Cool. Yeah, thanks. So I did just say on the way in here that we had a cool breeze, some kind of a breeze, and that the humidity wasn't bad. I think I lied. <laughs> it got hotter as I went through the parking lot, so I just pulled over here for a second to pull out the water, have that ready. I have the blotting towel ready. It was a cool breeze, but now I can see where this is going, so I just want to be prepared. <laughs> hopefully though, hopefully I will not need this. I don't think it's supposed to rain, so I think we're good in that department anyway. It's great over here in the shade. One good thing about Animal Kingdom, depending on what part of the park you're in, you can get a lot of shade if you're in the right place at the right time when the sun is out, that's for sure. But there are other areas of the park like Dino Land that are not shaded at all and it's hard to avoid. It's hard to avoid the intense sun over there. Over here it's cool. And maintain physical distancing. Thank you for your cooperation. So I actually, on this clip here, I just got the tail end of that, that last PA, that last public announcement, which is new, just showed up at the parks in like the last week or so. And it says that you need to keep your mask on covering your nose and mouth and quote unquote, guests who refuse to comply will be asked to leave, plain and simple. Disney does not mess around with the rules. Thank you, Disney, for keeping us safe. Heading over to Africa. That is where the safari is. Not sure about the wait time yet. I haven't checked wait times for anything here. It is actually a little more crowded than I've seen Animal Kingdom since the reopening during this pandemic. A little more crowded than before. I hope the wait time isn't crazy, only because it's hot, as you already know. 
but uh, we'll see. Twenty minute wait for Kilimanjaro safaris. Not bad at all. Almost there. Almost there. All of you to please join us in our battle against Putin. Hi, how are you? While you are in the truck, please keep your facial covering completely on over both your mouth and your animals. We can find out here today. Now, one of the things you can look for there by the water over to the right. Now, that okapi is very shy, very reclusive, very good at hiding. So much so that it was thought to be a myth or corrupted by the Western world until 1901. And with the greater kudu, only the male kudu have horns. So that is in fact a lovely lady. Reaching weights of up to 3,000 pounds. And as you can imagine, something that big has very little to worry about when it comes to predators. Again, that is a lovely lady kudu. She lacks the horns that the males have. See with hippos during the day, they do have a or some sensitive skin, so if they're out in the sun for too long, they do run the chance of getting sunburnt. So pretty rare to see, but hopefully with that hippo out of the water like that, you can see kind of how big they are, how they're shaped. Their nostrils, eyes, and ears are all at the very top of their head. And then these gray animals also here to the left on the island, those are pink back pelicans. Pink back pelicans get their name. Seem to be quite a few of them over there. their jaws real wide and let hot air out and look for those spots because the painted dogs do get their name from the beautiful spots that they have. I'm going to actually scoot up a little bit see if we can get a little bit closer to them. Those spots are unique and vary from individual dog to individual dog. And while they may look very cute and cuddly over there, they are in fact one of Africa's most successful predators. They are even far more successful at hunting than even the big cats are. And if you look over here to the left, there is a whole tower of giraffe that is migrating towards us. There's even a giraffe that has stopped a migration right in the middle of the road. So we will be hanging out here until that giraffe decides to move on back. But you know, it's not too bad of a place to be stopped because we do get to look at the rest of the giraffe in these towers. We've got some adults, we've also got some younger giraffe. But even from this distance, you might be able to tell that the giraffe are the tallest land mammals I see in the, the baby. world. Capable Look of reaching the baby. heights up to 17 to 19 feet tall, sometimes even taller. But despite being that tall, they only have seven vertebrae in their neck, which is the exact same number that we as humans have. So obviously their vertebrae have evolved to be a lot bigger and a lot longer. And they use those long necks to get hard to reach sources of vegetation. The other animal, like five million individuals, are some cattle with some really big horns. They also called a Watusi cattle after the people that first domesticated them. And these impressive horns that you're seeing can actually grow up to eight feet in length. Oh, the horns may look very hey, heavy. They're only about 10 pounds each, which would be heavy for us to have on our heads. But for those cows, it's almost nothing. 
and that have a dewlap under their neck, which is an extra fold of skin that serves to cool them down. They also have thicker stripes going down their back, heading towards their hindquarters. And in comparison to their size, they have really tiny hooves. And then the small brown, black, and white antelope over there to the right that look a little bit like s'mores. Those are Springbok, right? He's standing there kind of right by the walls over there. That is an elephant, and that's actually an African elephant. You can tell by looking at the shape of his ears. Ears kind of look like the continent of Africa. Which for me at least is a go over here in this flamboyant there. But those greater flamingo are the largest species of flamingo in the world, as well as the lightest pink in coloration. But you can tell from the babies that they don't start out that pink color. Does anyone know where they get it from? Eating shrimp. Yeah, so they'll get it from all of the brine shrimp that they eat. That brine shrimp is full of beta carotene. And it's that beta carotene that'll turn their feathers that really beautiful pink color. Now, as big as the black rhino was that we saw before, these white rhinos even bigger, capable of reaching weights of up to 5,000 pounds. And as you may notice, they're not exactly white in coloration, even underneath all of that mud of their lips. But when visitors heard them referred to as white rhinos, they thought they were calling them white rhinos. Pretty close look at this rhino over here. But I'm not going to linger too terribly long around them. And if you actually look over here to the left beyond the rhinos, there are some scimitar horned <laughs> orcs that are hiding in the tall grass. They are white and brown. They've got curved horns, but those are the oryx. And they are really neat animals. They're capable of going for long periods of time without needing a drink of water. And it was actually recorded that a scimitar horned orc would go up to nine months without needing a drink of water. And that's because they do not sweat. So we've got two females. We've also got the male over there. So here we go. And what you see these lions doing right now is what you'll see most lions doing when you see them during the day. They are conserving energy. And they're pretty Which means on average, they are only awake for around three years of their entire life. You can tell they are female by looking at the color of their feathers. Males will tend to be a really striking black in coloration, as opposed to the really pretty gray that the females are. We have gotten to see while here on safari today, as well as revisit some animals that we did get to see. Sometimes you'll see meerkats, neck and mole rats, really big bullfrogs. So you can Coming off the safari, Kilimanjaro safaris. That was a good one, you guys. Much better than the last one. I think we scored a little bit on the. Hey guys, we had a great safari. We got to see a lot of animals this afternoon, which I actually didn't get to do on the last vlog. I just pulled over for a minute to uh, kind of collect myself and take a break. It is really hot. And uh, more importantly, what I noticed, I checked the wait times for all the attractions, including Pandora. And uh, over at Pandora, Avatar Flight of Passage, which the last few months since the reopening, the wait time has been relatively low, like really low, 15, 20 minutes. Right now it's an hour and 15 minutes. And looking around the park, I can tell, even though maybe Disney hasn't announced it at all, but uh, the crowd capacity has uh, definitely gone up. It's definitely gone up since the reopening of the parks during the pandemic. And uh, the lines are a lot longer. And today is only a Thursday, it's a weekday. So it's a little bit unusual for the lines to be quite as long as they are today. And I'm over near Dino Land, and although I might not go on an attraction over here because uh, Dinosaur is actually closed right now, I am going to go take a walk through Dino Land because it seems a little quiet over there, quieter than the other parts of the park. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep going. And uh, the park's only open for about another hour, just over an hour. 
So uh, let's head over to Dino Land and see what we can find out what's going on. So as you can see, we are in Dino Land. And Dinosaur, it was closed. It's open now, but it's a 45 minute wait time, which is really long for Dinosaur, which is another indication that tells me that crowd capacity has gone up here at Animal Kingdom. First time since uh, we've been coming back since the reopening that it's been quite this crowded. So I am gonna bypass Dinosaur for today. I wouldn't ordinarily say no. I wouldn't or ordinarily say no to getting in line for Dinosaur because the wait is usually pretty, pretty short. Today, 45 minutes, that's long for Dinosaur. It's pretty crowded in here and it's a really hot day for it to be crowded and unusual that it's a weekday, that it's a Thursday and it's quite as crowded as it is. So for right now, right now, just to get a break, I am going to go into uh, the prehistorically low priced gift shop outside of Dinosaur to get a little blast of air conditioning. And I guess we can check out the merchandise while we're in there. Okay, now this gift shop, is so well air conditioned and ventilated. I am so comfortable in here. I don't even need to leave here right now, even if I don't buy anything, which I probably won't, but it is so nice and cool in here. It's a really good break. Back outside, Dino Land is actually not crowded at all. There's a long wait for Dinosaur, the ride, but Dino Land over here, not crowded. Hardly anybody here, actually. I've talked about this before in a previous vlog that Primeval Whirl, which is a small roller coaster, but I always liked it. It's closed and it's going to be rethemed or replaced with a new attraction. Although we have no idea what yet. I'm curious myself to know what it's going to be. Only Disney knows. guys oh my god we found a relaxation station which is an area in the park there are a few of them where you can stop take a break take your mask off and not get in trouble and it's safe because there's no one else around so I'm going to do just that you know when I got here I said that the temperature was great the humidity level was great and that there was a cool breeze I swear that was the case at the time. Not anymore. The sun is my nemesis right now. So I'm kind of in the shade. Anyway, in the meantime, we did have a great safari. We got to see a lot of animals that I didn't see on the last vlog. But um, definitely park capacity has gone up here at Animal Kingdom. Similar to what was happening or what is happening at Hollywood Studios. Um, crowds are a lot, are a lot bigger than uh, before after the first reopening of the parks. So, um, I don't know. The park closes in about an hour. It's about four o'clock now and the park closes at five. So I think I'm just gonna walk around a little bit more and then uh, probably head out. My goal was to get that safari, get a really good safari and, and I think I did okay with that. You guys tell me in the comments, you let me know, but it was better than the last one, that's for sure. So uh, I think I'm just gonna walk around the park a little bit more and then uh, head out to the car and hit the gym and dry off. I'll probably be cooler working out at the gym than I am here at Animal Kingdom, that's for sure. So, uh, ah, let's keep it going. As I'm passing this marquee here, you guys, Finding Nemo the Musical here at Animal Kingdom is so amazing. It's like right up there with a Broadway show. I am not kidding. John and I love that show so much. It's been closed since the beginning of the pandemic, but the actors union here at Disney, they did reach an agreement. And some of the shows that the other parks have started up again, the live shows, I hope Finding Nemo, the musical, starts up again soon because, boy, 
It really is one of our favorites. It is so good. I missed that show. We actually have the soundtrack. There is a soundtrack to that show. On CD, I've got it in my car. Expedition Everest. Not going on it today, but I did get a pretty good video clip on our last vlog at Animal Kingdom on this most amazing roller coaster. So much fun. So much fun. I get laughed at a lot because I do scream a lot on that roller coaster. I'm a roller coaster screamer and I'm proud of it. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I am ready to go home. It started out with a cool breeze and low temperatures and boy, was I wrong. I swear it did start out that way and then it became a major heat wave. Welcome to Florida. Anyway, I have tried everything from battery operated fans to cooling, cooling towels. I put a cap on to protect my scalp from the sun, but it is time to go home. I'm really hot and the point is, today I got in a great safari. I hope you guys enjoyed the safari. And I am going to go to the gym now and work off my frustrations regarding this heat. December is coming, it's coming, and I will be very happy about that. And we are gonna have some good vlogs when the weather is cool. I hope you enjoyed this one. So in the meantime, if you did enjoy this vlog, please click like. If you would like to continue the journey with us, please click subscribe. And you guys also, we are on Instagram. Busy Getting Disney on Instagram. Just search us on Instagram at Busy Getting Disney. I have got hundreds of Disney photos on there of John and me on, John and I on Disney property over the years on vacation at the Aulani in Hawaii, all that good stuff. So if you would like to follow us on Instagram, please by all means add us on there too. And we sure do appreciate your support. I'm still sweating. It's so hot. And I, actually, we're on Facebook too. So um, we have a Facebook page, Busy Getting Disney. You can like us on there. But uh, by all means, please keep following us on YouTube. We appreciate your support. And the vlogs will keep coming because this is what we do. I love coming here. John loves coming here. This is our thing. And other Disney people, I know you guys totally get it. If you're not a Disney addict, that's okay too. I appreciate you following us because... Uh, we love the company and I appreciate your support. So thanks you guys. It's Wes at Busy getting Disney over and out. Stay safe you guys and we will see you in the next few days. Take care. post credit here you guys guess what i did you are not going to be surprised i forgot where i parked <laughs> i didn't take note of where i parked i did it again 
And actually, I hear other people's car alarms going off because evidently that's the thing to do. If you can't find your car, you go out here in the parking lot and you set off the panic button. So a hundred cars all at once are setting off the alarms. That doesn't make it any easier. And I don't want to be one of those people. So I'm hoping I figure out where my car is because it's such a bright red that usually helps, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, found my car. You guys, remind me next time, even though we're not live, we'll find a way to do it. Remind me where I parked. I don't know why that is such a difficult task for me. I got lucky today though. Let's go home. Actually, no, we're going to the gym, then we're going home. Thanks for coming, you guys. I appreciate your support. Wes, over and out. <laughs>